team coverage now. 10 News reporter Asia Vickers talked to some residents flooded out of their homes in North Tulsa. Marguerite Peters was lying in her bed when her daughter rushed in and told her to come to the other room. And then, so we went to the front room and it was just up by the couch, you know, like the, the end of the couch. It was just up by the legs part and, and I went to the kitchen and everything was flooded out. Peters just moved here about a week ago. Now her furniture, clothes and other belongings are ruined. About 14 units were flooded, seven of which are occupied. Adrienne Asbury says her home wasn't as flooded as others because she was able to stop the water with blankets. The blankets soaked up real quick. Residents immediately called the landlord. He said he can't do anything about what's going on. Told us to go stay with a friend for the night. However, the property manager said he'd work on getting a restoration mm -hmm. company to the complex. So, like I said, I went around Dustin and called a restoration company. And shortly after we arrived, the Red Cross showed up to see how bad the situation was and offered help, too. It's one of the reasons that the Red Cross comes out is to make sure people have a safe place to stay, that they've got clothes to wear and food to eat. So we'll be making sure of those three things for the next couple of days for them. The Red Cross said if a lot of homes in this neighborhood were flooded, they may need to open a shelter. But so far, they don't think that's necessary. Now, Asia tells us the landlord did call later to say that he's offering some of his other apartments to these tenants as long as those apartments aren't flooded too. Also tonight